these are the measurements needed in drafting the front and back mats foundation patterns. We have the figure so as shown with this 14 inches. The side as shown with this 8 inches. So these are just examples of measurements. So it will vary on your client's the body measurements. So the bust sample is 34 inches. The waist sample is 38 inches. Hips is 36 inches. Shoulder is 15 inches. Is 40 inches across chest, 30 inches, and the plastic distance is 7 inches. So, what are the tools and materials needed? We need a tape measure, a curve, a curve, a triangle, a pencil, and a pencil. We will start. By drawing a perpendicular line. So you need to use the triangle in drawing a perpendicular line. So mark the corner as well. So that is your starting point. And then you have to make sure one in one for from one to two down. By the bus measurement and the force, so depending on the bus measurement that you have taken, so that is from one to four. So since eight and a half is the one part of the bus, that is four. So one to four downwards is one part of the bus. Next is the figure. So one to five is the figure measurement. So if your figure measurement is 14 inches, you will mark 14 inches as your figure and mark it number 5. So again, 1 to 5 is your figure. 1 to 6, sideward is 3 inches. And that is your next width. And then 1 to 7 downwards for the next depth of the back pattern is 3 quarters inch. Square out the point 7, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So you need to use the triangle in squaring out the points. Make sure that in using the triangle, make it parallel with the line. So again, square out point 7, 2, 3, 4, and 5 so that you can be ready for the horizontal measurements. You use your triangle in squaring out the point. So I just use the pencil pen here so that the pattern will be clear. But you need to use the pencil in drafting your pattern. So we will now proceed with 2 to 8. That is one half of your shoulder. So you need to divide the shoulder measurement into two. Given divided by two is seven and a half. So you can use the tape measure in dividing the measurements. So in dividing it into two, just fold it into half. You will get the one half of the measurement. So that is seven and one half. As again, two to eight is one half of your shoulder. Next procedure is 3 to 9. That is one half of your across chest for the front. So if the across chest is 13, we divide it into 2 with 6 and a half. So we mark that in line with 3. That is 3 to 9. And that is one half across chest. So we mark it 9. And then, so in line with 4. One first of the bust measurement plus one for the front pattern. So since one part of the bust is eight and one half plus one is nine and one half, we mark it as 
10. So 4 to 10 is 1 foot of the bus plus 1. 1 to 11 downwards is your apex height. So if your apex height is 8 inches, you mark 8 inches and mark it 11. So 1 to 11 downwards is apex height. And then wear out point 11 so that you can make your dart. Divide the apex distance into 2 and mark it on line 11 to 12. So 11 to 12 sideward is one half of your apex distance. So that is 12. 5 to 13 is the same as 11 to 12. So one half apex distance, that is 13. And then one half sideward is 14. And then one half inch on the other side is 15. So again, 13 to 14, 13 to 15 are the same. One half inch. So 5 to 16 is one fourth of the waist plus one inch. Okay, that is for the dart. So if the one fourth of the waist is seven plus one, that is eight inches, we mark it 16. So 5 to 16 again is one fourth of the waist plus one inch for the dart. So for number 17, we need to measure 7 inches downwards from 5. So 5 to 17 is 7 inches. So this is already part of blocking the pattern. Again, that is 7 inches. And then we need to square out, of course, the line 17. Okay, so 17 to 18 is one fourth of the hip. So if the hip measurement is 36, we divide it into four, that is nine. So 17 to 18 is one fourth of the hips. 18 to 19 upwards is just one centimeter. So we use the other side of the tape measure and mark one centimeter, that is 19. And then for 20, we need to measure 4 and 1 half inch from 13 downwards and make sure that from sideways it is the same as 5 to 13, which is the 1 half apex distance. So that is number 20. And if we got those points, we need to make the dart, connect the points 12, 13, and 20, and then connect 12 to 15. 12 to 14 using a straight line 14 to 20 and 15 to 20 that serve as your dart for the bodies so we are almost ready in shaping the bodies for the front and back so that you can see the difference between the front and back bodies foundation pattern So for the next step, the front body, that is 1 to 7, in shaping the neck of the front body, that is 3 inches for the front. So we need to square off point 7 and point square down point 6 so that we can shape the neckline. So we use the French curve in shaping the front neck. So we shape using the French curve. And then we need to connect 6, I'm sorry, 8, 9, and 10 using the French curve as well. So just position it to where points 8, 9, and 10 will meet. of the 
pattern. Using the hip curve, we need to shape the side part of the body. So connect 16 to 10 using the hip curve. And then, forming the out, outward curve of the hip, so we need to connect 16 to 18, and then 19 to 17 using the hip curve also. So that serves as the shape of the front body foundation pattern. Again, the neckline, the armhole, shoulders. Top. So on the back, next one to seven. Okay, try to look at the French curve. So it's going upwards again. You can use free hand in shaping this part. Just make sure, okay, it looks almost the same as the illustrator once illustrated. Okay, so what is the difference of the front and the back? Next step. We're going to look at it. Okay. So for the back, three to nine is one half across back. Unlike on the front, it is one half across chest. On the back part, four to ten of the back is this one foot of the bottom. It has no additional one inch. Again, four to ten back for uh, back pattern is just one part of the bust. So, in shaping the back armhole, we need to connect 8, 9, and 10. Okay? Using the French curve. So, this is just the armhole of the back pattern. And then, shape using the hip curve, just like the ones we did for the front. So, this is the back part of the side of the body okay so for the for the dart apex height minus one inch so eight minus one is seven inches okay so that there will lie the dart of the back pattern so it has it has a higher dart of the back so we're going to compare it with the front one So that is the difference of the front and back body foundation pattern for the front 